so you are someone who is on top of the data, unlike just about anyone else. Uh, what did you get out of the latest report or really any of um, the, your recent findings? Yeah, I mean, so I mean, there's sort of this key piece, which I know you track really closely to, which is the willingness to vote for uh, a, a third party or a different party than a Democrat or Republican candidate. And, and that number has kind of continued to grow. I mean, we have a majority of, of likely voters who are at least somewhat willing to, to vote for a third party candidate, or they say so, um, which is you know, obviously an important number to track. Um, I think the other thing that was really critical in the, the research that we did pre-election 2020 and post-election is that there's kind of this conventional wisdom among politicals, politicos, and even among researchers that democracy is just not an issue that voters really care about at all. You know, they could care about kitchen, quote unquote, kitchen table issues and and democracy just doesn't matter. Um, and what we found that, that that's actually changing. So yeah, it was not the number one issue. Um, you know, by, by any means, the number one issue for voters tended to be inflation across the board. Um, you know, Republicans, some of them, it's immigration and safety. And for Democrats, abortion was a big one this year. But um, democracy was ranking and protecting elections in particular was ranked right up there, three or four, particularly in battleground states um, where voters really understand kind of the way that the system of democracy, uh, the strength of our democracy truly does matter. Uh, and I thought that was one of the, the more interesting things that really kind of cuts against this idea that democracy doesn't matter. And in fact, among voters that um, there weren't for, you know, at that point, there weren't forward party options, um, but there were an expanded number of what we call shifters or split ticket voters um, who would vote for you know a Democrat for, for one statewide office and a Republican for another statewide office. There were more of those in battleground states this year. And for those voters in particular, protecting elections, fair elections, um, ranked higher um, you know, than kind of your mean voter, which really indicates that for them, it, it may have been a voting issue, even if it's not the issue that it's, it's not the same as making sure they have enough money in their pocket, it's, it's pretty close. Um, so those are some of the things. I think the other thing that we do a lot of work on and we tracked in this recent report is just the, the uh, energy behind reforming the primary system and giving voters, you know, more options. Yeah, most voters want it. They vote it. Yeah, it's really popular. I mean, the, the only thing that's more popular, you know, than that when in the, kind of the realm of reform is just money and politics. I mean, voters see that as really the biggest problem. Um, and that's a harder one. It's, and you and I have, you know, been on panels about that. Um, there's things you can do, but it's it's a harder nut to crack. But Democracy reform really has a lot of momentum and in each individual state that we've looked at it as well as the, across the country, uh, both Republicans and Democrats uh, really want it. They want it. They want better representation, better options, more voice, more choice. Yeah, almost 60 percent of Americans want to get rid of uh, party primaries. So that's a great sign for, let's say, Nevada uh, next year. Uh, and what percentage of Americans say they're at least open to, to voting uh, for a third party? 60%. About the same, 60%. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously, um, that's a lot higher than you need, in theory. <laughs> you don't yeah. even need 51%. You know, you, you might need 35%. Um, I'd actually tell people the real number uh, of what you would need to get on board something like the forward party in earnest is only really more like 10%. Because in a polarized country, you could swing a lot of races and do a lot of good with that kind of base. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, um, I think the thing we have to look at, too, is younger voters. So the trends... Um, younger voters hate the parties. Yeah. So younger voters are the most likely to identify as independent, be most dissatisfied with the two-party system, the most supportive of reform. Um, even, you know, youngest the youngest Republicans, um, there's a like a major delta between support for democracy reform among younger Republicans and older Republicans. Um, which I think is a, a really strong you know, omen and gives us a really good foundation to build on for the future. Hey, YouTube, glad you're enjoying the podcast. If you really like it, hit subscribe, and then YouTube will notify you every time we have a bang-up new guest. Thank you.